Hey, thank you for watching this video. I wanted to take a quick second and talk to you about something that may or may not uh, be preventing your business from succeeding. Um, and it's probably gonna be one of the biggest reasons you're not succeeding in your business. Um, I'm not driving right now, just so you know. I'm just in the truck. I had to pull over while I still had this on my mind. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that could be preventing you from succeeding in your, in your business is actually yourself. Um, if you find yourself uh, throughout the day thinking, you know, negative thoughts, thinking about, oh, I don't have money, you know, how am I going to pay this, how am I going to pay that, this is due, and all that, you know, a, a lot of people don't look at, at some of the things that they're thinking about uh, when it comes to the success of their business. And, you know, you, you can be one of the number one reasons why your business isn't succeeding. You know, you got to have a positive attitude and you have to be positive 100% of the time. Um, you know, even when you're on your downtime, you know, if you find yourself when you're in the vehicle or in your car or at home in your free time, you know, instead of, you know, playing a video game or, you know, instead of, you know, listening to, you know, negative stuff, you know, if you're watching Jerry Springer, that's wrong, Maury, you know, anything like that, you want to try and keep as much negative out of your life as possible. Uh, when you're trying to build up your businesses and especially you know in the beginning because in the beginning you know you're gonna go through a, a lot of uh, hard times uh, it's not gonna be easy in the beginning until you you know get everything set up and get everything going and you know the first few days you may not make any money but you know you can't dwell on that don't let yourself fall into a trap of negativity because you know once negativity sets in it just breeds and breeds and breeds on your inside uh, the other day I was watching a video it was talking about you know some of the the natural landmarks or you know you know as far as volcanoes uh, hot springs you know your body is like a hot spring you know a hot spring you know, you can't just make one of those anywhere. Um, you know, it, it, you, there's certain things, certain natural elements that have to be there for you to have that. And it's the same way in your body, you know. With your body, you know, yeah, you can have a, a, a positive outlook or, you know, pretend like you're having a positive outlook, I should say. Uh, but you know if you're constantly surrounding yourself by negativity you know if you look at your Facebook feed and you know the people that you have as friends are only posting negative stuff you know all that's doing is bringing you down um, and it's not gonna help your business at all um, and I'm not telling you you have to unfriend them you know there's an unfollow button so they can still be your friend um, but you don't have to see that negativity and you know it, it might not be you know they might not necessarily be a negative person but you know at this point in their life they're going through a lot of negativity and you don't need that interfering with yourself so so back to the hot springs you know your body is is like you know a hot spring and you know if you're not doing successful um, you know with whatever it is that you're doing you know you need to kind of step out of yourself step out of the shell and and look at what you're doing look at some of the things that you're doing I'm not saying that you need to judge yourself but you need to be aware of, of everything that you're doing so <clears throat> you know with that being said like I was saying your body is you know is similar to a hot spring where you know there's these natural elements that you know you have to have inside of you to be successful and one of those things is positivity if you're not being positive 
if you're surrounding yourself by negativity, you're you're only hurting yourself and hurting your business. Uh, because you know, like those hot springs, yes, you can dig a hole. Yes, you can, you know, bring water in. Yes, you can bring rocks in. You can, you know, do everything possible to have something similar to a hot spring. But that one piece that's missing, that positivity in your life, that can ruin, you know, your hot spring or your body because. All right, sorry about that. I accidentally hit the button on my phone. But but back to what I was saying. You know, if, if you're missing that positivity in your life and you're trying to start a business, you know, it's not it's not going to work out because you you got to have positivity and you also you know want to find things to better yourself. Uh, because you know, you've gotten to where you're at in your life because of, you know, the knowledge you've had so far the people that you've surrounded yourself around, uh, your family and friends, but to make that next step, to get to that next level, you, you need to get all the negativity out of your life, and, and then you need to start, you know, looking at ways to improve yourself um, and make yourself better from the inside, because your your subconsciousness is going to prevent you from doing a lot of things if you don't have that positivity in your life because no matter what you tell yourself you know you know in the back of your mind there's this little you know subconsciousness that if you keep bringing in negativity you know all, all your subconsciousness is going to tell you to do is you know the same things that you've been doing and you know that's not going to get you to that next level that's not going to get you to to where you want to be so you know what I want to challenge you to do is this is what I want you to do I, I want you to take an hour out of your time every day to to do something positive um, and that can be you know reading about some you know self-development book um, you know listening to a mentor uh, a mentor is another big thing you know if you don't have a mentor in your business and a mentor in your life it's gonna be very hard for you to succeed because you're, you're basically gonna be winging it you know if you don't have somebody that's there that's that's helping you out to tell you what to do you know you're pretty much just using your past experiences um, and your, your your current beliefs in order to get you further in life and you know sometimes you will you know luck into something and you know you'll do good for a little while but it, you know it's the same as you know you building a house if you don't have that foundation yeah you can start building and yeah the house will start coming up but you know once there's a rainstorm or you know it doesn't even have to be that you know somebody could leave some water on you know somewhere and part of the foundation that you didn't do correctly and the whole thing come tumbling down so you know that foundation within yourself is is your subconsciousness and your subconsciousness feeds off of a lot of things that you tell yourself every day so if you're constantly surrounding yourself with negativity or constantly being subjected to that negativeness you know you're not going to be able to get to where you need to be yes you may be able to see short-term improvements but it's not going to last so do that take one hour a day and you know read a book write something down you know look at your life look at things that you can improve um you know, there's there's tons of successful people that are out there that are that are doing the things that you want to do. So whatever your desire is, find someone who is doing what you want to do. You know, find someone who is at that level that you want to be at, and you know, try and not necessarily do exactly what they're saying or what they're doing, but look at what they're doing see what's working for them and try and implement that into your life um, and then also with the books the self-improvement books you know they've helped me a lot 
Um, they've helped me, you know, in, in many ways, just, you know, learning about myself. You know, there was a time a, a couple of years ago, I, I'd say probably two years ago, where, you know, I, I wasn't doing that good. Um, if you are been a friend of mine for a while, if you've been following my posts on Facebook for a while, I mean, you know about the stuff that I've been through. And you know the negativity, you know, that I was putting out there uh, with some of the, the different things that weren't going right in my life. But, you know, once I decided that, you know, I was going to get rid of all the negativity um, and start putting you know, some positivity into my life, everything changed. I cannot, you know, you won't believe how much your life would change by you just removing some of that negativity. You know, stop watching, you know, what's going on with the news. You know, you're not going to get Ebola. You know, ISIS is not going to kidnap you. You know, you don't, you don't need that in your life right now when you're trying to build your business. So, what I want you to do is, you know, just one hour a day, you know, find something positive to do, something constructive that's going to make you think about something. Um, and, you know, one of the, the books that uh, I read that really opened up my, my eyes was, uh, what was it called? The Life You Were Born to Live, I believe is, is what the name of that book is. And, you know... It really opened my eyes on, you know, why I was having certain problems in my life, uh, why things were going um, certain ways. You know, one of the one of the things that you need to realize is one of the things, you know, whatever it is that you're struggling with the most is more than likely going to be what you're meant to be successful at. But it's up to you to follow the correct path because there's a path of negativity and there's a path of positivity and and that's going to be up to you um and i i just wanted to make this video you know i was driving around thinking um and you know i've, I've talked to a few people recently uh that have had some struggles and i've also talked to some people you know who are doing great in life and you know I really feel you know if if you take this and you apply it in your life if you take just an hour a day you know to put some positive in your life you'll you'll see you know in a year from now you'll be thanking me I guarantee you. thanks for watching thanks